Hello. Today we'll begin a set of videos on the newly released uh, EasyGrader version 3. This has been a long and difficult redo of the entire program with many new enhancements and a complete overhaul of the interface as you can see here. We will briefly go over the new features and show you how to use them. We will make detailed videos of the new features in the coming weeks. As you can see, the entire interface has been re redesigned from version 1 and streamlined. EasyGrader now accepts images from the clipboard and that's great for grading stamps from eBay or other websites. Um, let me show you how it works. So what I'll do here is I'll grab an image from um, our, own, our own website. So we have some stamps for sale at uh, easystamp.com and I'm just going to click on this one here. I'm going to right click on it and click copy image. And then I'll just get that out of the way. And then I go to easy grader and click on the icon here to paste from the clipboard. And as you can see, it will grade that stamp and measure it for you. So that's great for, you know, uh, if you're planning on purchasing items online and you want to grade the stamp before you purchase it so you can see that the grade is actually as the seller is stating or if it's not graded, you have an idea of what it is. You can also uh, drag and drop images. So I'm just going to close that graded image. So you can drag and drop now. and um, You can also go to file and open, obviously, but... Um, you can just drag and drop a single image in there. So we just drop it into the drop box and the software will then go ahead and grade the image for you. You can also um, drag multiple images. This is great for multiple uh, uh, for a rapid process. So let's say you had 10 stamps that you uh, wanted to grade. You can load them individually or you can load them as a group. So what you do is um, you can just select the stamp and then what you do is you do a multi-select in um, an easy grader and then that just drag and drop all three of them on there and what will happen is is you're going to get a set of arrows here that will let you advance back and forth as each one is graded so we'll go on to the next one that we dropped in there and then one more and then once that's done, that process is finished and then you can either uh, end the session or go on and do something else. Now one of the nice things about this new version is that it can, um, it allows you to manually adjust the lines in case EasyGrader misses it. In this particular case, um, this is pretty good. It's a a relatively heavily cancelled stamp but EasyGrader did a really good job but you can see down at the bottom here it's slightly off because of the color of the stamp but all you have to do to manually adjust the lines is you right click on the uh, any one of the detection balls and then just drag it over to where you think it should be and it's fairly easy to see uh, where the detection where the edge usually lies and then you just click the recalculate button and it'll recalculate that stamp and give you an adjusted grade. Now <clears throat> you can also zoom in. Sometimes these uh, these lines are hard to see so if you want to zoom in you can zoom in at two or three hundred percent. I'm going to go into two hundred percent and show you what that looks like. So now you have a really good idea of where those lines are. I'm just going to move this over a bit so that we can see everything. So if you look right here, it's just slightly off there. So I'm going to right click, move that line over, and then just click on recalculate. And it'll recalculate based on the adjusted lines that you, uh, you gave it. Now there's also uh, a toolbox that is really handy. Um, it will show up here and you can move it around and pin it in place so that it um, 
always stays in one spot. I'm going to just leave it here for now. But we have a set of what we call magic wands. And I'm going to go back to 100% so that we can see this uh, work in action here. So these magic wands, sometimes when Easy Grader doesn't get the lines perfect on the first try, sometimes because of heavy cancel or just de depends on the image itself, you can use these uh, this set of four magic wands, um, and it will usually one of those uh, one of those settings will usually get that stamp right every single time. Um, so this one here didn't work quite so well. We had it right the first time anyway, um, uh, as we loaded it. But you can you'll get a feel for it once you start playing around with these different magic wands. Now the other really nice feature is that Easy Grader can be run on multiple monitors. So if you have a dual monitor system, um, you can have the main screen on one and the markup image on another. I can't really show that to you. Just uh, it has uh, a lot of coding went into um, to handle that kind of thing. So if I try and move this image off screen, it's going to bounce it back for us. And the same thing would happen on a dual monitor. But you'll have to kind of try that out on your own if you have a dual monitor system. Now, another <clears throat> another feature that's been added, um, and it was something that was asked for many, many times, is you can adjust the grade. So, for example, if you wanted uh, to specify something about this stamp. So let's say, for example, this stamp has a short perf right here. I'm going to move this line out of the way so that we can see it. So that would be something that you would want to disclose to a potential buyer. And the way you do that is you click on this icon right here, I for information. I'm going to move that in. And then what I'm going to do is go down and find the ones uh, for perfs. And I'm going to have select uh, one short perf. And then there it is in our settings. And that will eventually show up on... A certificate that we uh, that we can print. I'm also going to say down here at the bottom, it's this is Scott number uh, 179, and used. So uh, another thing that has been enhanced is the certificates, and I'll show you here by clicking on the print certificate icon. So as you can see down here. This is the notes that we put down here, the Scott number. It can be anything that you want. And then any adjustments that you have made to the grade where you deducted some points because there was a short perf. And then you can go ahead and print that. Let me just close that. Now, another great feature that was uh, added recently in this new version is the ability to load stamps from... Uh, that are still on on uh, uh, on paper or on cover. Those are before you couldn't really grade those. So to do that, we go to the covers and sheets, click on load image, and we pick one. Here's one that I've already got that was on cover. So as you can see, uh, what happens is is Easy Grader puts all the lines on uh, for detection, but they're not really where they should be they're there just so that you can move them around because there's no way to easily detect the difference between where the stamp starts and where the paper starts so you kind of have to get involved and, and move the lines accordingly and obviously you can zoom in and then uh, move the lines. so I'm going to move this over so that we can see so what I would do now you can move the lines simultaneously if you hold down the shift key and right click so that the balls turn green and then you can use your arrow keys to move uh, the line where, it, uh, where you think it should go. And there's where the perfs are. And I'm going to do the same thing for this, uh, this line here. Oops. And then use my arrow keys on the keyboard and adjust the line. And then when you're all done, you can use the recalculate and recalculate that particular stamp. We will have uh, more detailed videos uh, soon to go over many of the items uh, mentioned in today's video in much more detail. We encourage you to download a copy of Easy Grader from our website at uh, easystamp.com. And that's right here. So we can just go to the home page. 
and then you can just go to the free demos and grab a copy for yourself. All right, thank you for watching. Bye for now.